here i am removing this all the code so here i am removing this all the data and all those things and here also i am removing this one all divide is equal to here here yeah. here i want to show some count okay sub count count variable so here we are having a count variable and here we need to introduce the count variable so why because we have used this count right so i am using this one as zero the default value is zero so here also we are able to see now if i try to see the output we are able to see the zero here fine it's working fine now i am having a div here button i am creating in this button increment count so i am incrementing the count okay so whenever i click on this button this count has to be increment so this count has to increment to one two three like this when i am when i am clicking on this one it has to increment so what can i do here so for this one normally what we will try to do here you will try to add an um, you will add an event listener document dot get element by dot add event listener these are all things we used to do in the traditional javascript but here in the vjs <coughs> so what we can do is or otherwise in the jquery you can use the on click off something like that we can use it here we can use at the rate so we should not use the colon here at the rate okay at the rate click so when the user clicks on this one so execute the method method something like on increment on increment counter so this is the method i am trying to have it okay this is the method it needs to be executed whenever the button is click at the rate click so this method has to be incremented so when i go to main.js and here this is the data we are having it right we have an another property that is nothing but a methods okay in this one we are having a method we will be having a methods and in this methods we can write all the methods whichever you want to write uh, we have uh, mentioned it here we can write all those methods as an object here this is an object and here it will have an on increment counter in this one you will write like this so when i click on this one console.log button click i will try to use it button click okay let's see what will happen so if you try to go into this one if i click on this one console so now if i click here i am able to get this button click so that means i am somehow i am able to execute this method on increment counter how it is getting executed so at the rate click so this is a event handling in the vjs at the rate click then on increment counter so you can use you can execute this method on increment counter and this method is introduced in the methods object as a function here as a property okay so like this it will be having so full rotation means like this you will be having so the shortcut notation i am using like this <clears throat> on increment button click now what i need to do i need to increment this counter okay i need to increment this counter now what i can do is here this variable this count variable you can access it using this dot count okay so this dot count so this using the this dot whatever the data variables you are having you can you access it using this dot count and what i want to do here this dot count plus one this is the thing which i want to do it and now if you do it so why we are using in the data variable and all those things is now when you up when you increment this count variable what will happen automatically the count the variable whichever you are using it here automatically this one will be updated so for example if you try to see here now if i click on this one see automatically this one is getting updated this is the this is this is why we will be using in the we'll be using like this data variable for example if you want to do the same thing in the jquery or javascript means you need to upgrade it and you need to take that variable and you need to reassign render it again but whereas here if you take a variable and if you add it here automatically whenever you are updating this variable wherever you are using this variable automatically this one will be updated for example this variable same variable you are using it somewhere the counter value is like this okay the counter value is count like this if you are having it means so in two places i am using this one so now you are able to see the two places you are having now there is no need for, for you to bother about this. in these two places you are having count i need to re-render it again those all things there is no need to bother so if you update this variable wherever the reference is this variable we are using it automatically that value will be updated here so if i click on this one see automatically two places automatically without having any pain 
automatically this one is getting updated this is the beauty of this one so this is called as the reactivity two-way data binding so we are trying to do it two-way data binding so here if you try to update it automatically it will be updated and here if you try to update it here also it will be get updated so this is called as a two-way data binding reactivity so it will react to the variable change the template and also the javascript also it will react to the template change so the variable change this is called as a reactivity so this is also one of the concept you need to understand it so here you will be able to see it i don't know where they have mentioned it so this shorthand notation is i have told you about this one or this one right at the rate at the rate like this so we can also use the this is a shorthand notation actually we this is a shorthand notation normally the full hand notation is vi1 on colon we used to use this is also one and the same it will work instead of using these all the things you can use it at the rate okay so this is one of the concept which you need to understand it mm, which we have which they have told we have to bind these all things we have understood mm, yeah we have a and uh, uh, event event name is is a dynamic they have given so we can use this event name click focus mouse move mouse enter double click all the events you can use it event handling they will be trying yeah here you'll be having this listening to the events so here you'll be able to have at the rate click like this we'll try we'll go on uh, learn more about this one all so this is one of the main concept which you need to understand it for example let's say that we are able to get an event right so we will be having add event listener of something like function we used to have a callback function in that callback function we used to have an event so here also you can pass the event that event is nothing but this is a reserved word that is nothing but dollar event in the view js so you can pass this dollar event so that this event this element this particular element you will be able to get it here so here you will be having an event and if you do the console.log of event And if i click on this button so you are able to get this button so this particular button what is the press what is the position is all the event we have seen it in the jquery and also in the javascript so this is the event we are able to get it okay and another one what i can say is if you want to pass some data also you can pass some data here i want to pass some data some some static data i am passing so you can capture it here and you can do whatever the thing you want to do you can do it so you can assign it to some other variable or anything you can do it so like this you can also pass the variable so for example if we click on this increment count i am able to get this value which i am trying to get it so this is one thing this is one thing <coughs> and another one is for example if you are having anchor link okay hrio so like this we are having at the rate click i have used it like this now what i can do here i can do the refresh here and if i click on this one this page is entirely get refreshing if you try to observe i am clicking on this one it is getting updated but the page is refreshing so we want to stop the refresh of this page when you are using an anchor link so then what we can do it is so we got an event and we can do it is some something like event dot prevent default so these are all things we have used it already so here we can use it like this and if i try to uh, if i try to click on this one so it will work normally without any problem the shorthand notation what you can use it is the in the ujs without sending this event and all those things if you don't want to send these all the events writing code here so for example why because for doing event dot prevent default we need to pass the dollar event or otherwise you can use directly dot prevent here directly you can use it dot prevent now there is no need to pass there and there is no need to write an extra line so similarly same the code is before how it is before like this only it is there but we have used at the rate click dot prevent this is shorthand notation so the long notation is the common notation which we can use it is that we need to pass the event here and we need to do all those things but here you can use dot prevent directly and now then also it will work the code will work without any problem you click here the page will not refresh so this is the event handling so this is what they are trying to tell you in the template syntax <coughs> okay so reactivity fundamentals so we have learned about the reactivity fundamentals so co count and all those things how the count will be get updated is all the things also we have learned it <coughs> so they are trying to tell you about these all things now click event is all thing now if you go to the computer properties okay these are all the different things i will try to explain you computer properties watchers and all those things so you understood uh, now we are now we understood about the event handling at the rate click handler so we have an on of click handler also we can use it or otherwise at the rate click also we can use it 
so this is the basic event handling and we'll try to learn about the conditional rendering about this one 